Hello everyone, my name is Sumedha. In the previous chapter, we have studied oscillation and in this chapter, we will study about waves. So, waves, the basic definition or basically from the initial, how we can understand wave that is, it is generated by a disturbance. Jab disturbance hoti hai, to wave generate hoti hai. So, let's study classification of waves. First, we have necessity of medium. अब वेव जनरेट हो गई है तो उसको प्रोपोगेट करने के लिए आगे मूव करने के लिए मीडियम की जरूरत है या नहीं दोज वेव्स हु रिक्वायर मीडियम आर कॉल्ड मैकेनिकल वेव्स एग्जांपल साउंड एंड दोज हु मे और मे नॉट रिक्वायर मीडियम आर कॉल्ड नॉन मैकेनिकल वेव्स एग्जांपल लाइट Second, propagation of energy. In this, we have two branches. One is progressive and one is stationary. Progressive wave which propagates with the same or with the constant velocity. That means, koi ek wave hai that is moving with constant velocity without any change that is called progressive wave and stationary waves when a particle vibrate with different amplitude that means wave form ho rahi hai jab particle vibrate kar raha hai with different amplitude that means amplitude is changing so that is called stationary wave dimensions 1d 2d and 3d वन डायमेंशन वेव्स दैट इज अलोंग अ स्ट्रिंग अगर हम कोई स्ट्रिंग लेते हैं उसको प्लग करते हैं तो जो वेव फॉर्म होती है दैट इज कॉल्ड वन डायमेंशन वेव टू डायमेंशन स्टोन थ्रोन इन अ वाटर जब हम एक स्टोन वाटर में थ्रो करते हैं तो वी गॉट अ स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस सो दिस इज अ केस ऑफ टू डायमेंशन वेव एंड थ्री डायमेंशन वेव जब हमारे पास एक सोर्स होता है जिससे जो वेव्स है वो पूरे एक्स एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस एंड जेड एक्सिस में जाती है दैट इज कॉल्ड थ्री डायमेंशन एग्जाम्पल साउंड लाइट एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट वी क्लासीफाई वेव ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ मोशन ऑफ पार्टिकल दैट इज ट्रांसवर्स फर्स्ट इज ट्रांसवर्स एंड सेकेंड इज लॉन्गिट्यूड में Now in transverse, particle execute एस एच एम इन द मेन पोजिशन विच इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ वेव प्रोपोगेशन दैट मीन्स जो पार्टिकल है वो सिंपल हारमोनिक मोशन फॉलो कर रहा है और ऑसिलेट हो रहा है थ्रू द मेन पोजिशन एंड वेव इज ट्रेवलिंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन तो जो पार्टिकल का ऑसिलेशन है so the mean position is perpendicular this is perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation in longitudinal wave we have a region of high compression and low compression here the particle travels with the same direction in which the wave is propagating but here we have regions like लो कंप्रेशन हाई कंप्रेशन हेयर इट इज लो कंप्रेशन हेयर इट इज हाई कंप्रेशन अगेन हाई लो लो अगेन हाई सो वी हैव रीजन डिवाइडेड ऑफ हाई कंप्रेशन एंड लो कंप्रेशन सो दीज वर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ वेव्स सो नाउ आफ्टर क्लासिफाइंग द वेव्स लेट इज डिस्कस अबाउट वेलोसिटी इन वेव्स वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेलोसिटी one is particle velocity and other is wave velocity the velocity at which the particle is oscillating and the velocity at which the wave is propagating now particle is following simple harmonic motion so from simple harmonic motions velocity maximum is a omega and acceleration is omega square a so now we'll write a equation for waves which is y is equals to a sin omega t minus kx this is a mathematical expression for wave now we'll differentiate y 
once with respect to time and once with respect to space that is once with respect to x so differentiating with respect to time so dy upon dt is equals to a cos omega t minus kx into omega see this is 1 this is 2 differentiating with respect to x dy upon dx is equals to a cos omega t minus kx minus k equation 3 now multiplying and dividing equation 3 by omega so i will get minus k a omega cos omega t minus kx upon omega now from 2 omega a omega a cos omega t minus kx is dy upon dt this is dy upon dt so we can write a relation relation between wave velocity and particle velocity is when we differentiated it with time this is my particle velocity and this is my wave velocity so the relation between two is given by dy upon dx is equals to minus 1 upon v dy upon dt so this is a relation between wave velocity and particle velocity of a wave now we will study the superposition of two waves for that we will consider wave 1 which is represented by y1 a sin omega t minus kx so equation number 1 and wave 2 a sin omega t minus kx plus some phi this is equation 2 these are the two different equation for two different waves now what is superposition this is basically the addition or summation so my capital y will be sum of y1 plus y2 so y is equals to a sin omega t minus kx plus a sin omega t minus kx plus 5 taking the a common y is equals to a sin omega t minus kx plus sin omega t minus kx plus 5 so we will get this equation now using trigonometric identities we can see this is sin a plus sin b so using the formula of sin a and sin b so we will get y is equals to 2a cos phi by 2 sin kx minus omega t plus phi by 2 this is after the application of this trigonometric identity so now we will divide it into two cases for phi equals to 0 for phi is equals to 0 when phi is 0 cos 0 is 1 and here it is 0 so I will get y is equals to 2a sin kx minus omega t this is case 1 for phi is equals to pi I will get y is equals to 0 because it is completely out of phase 
this was case 2 where 2a is the amplitude of the wave here the amplitude is a and a when we superimpose these two waves with same amplitude of a and a on superposition we'll see the amplitude is 2a so this was the principle of superposition of waves now we'll study about reflected waves when a wave is incident this is incident wave then it has two possibilities one is to transmit this will be transmitted wave and other possibility is to get reflect back is to get reflect back this is reflected wave so for incident wave let us write y is equals to a sin omega t minus kx this is for incident for reflected we have a sin omega t minus kx plus pi जब वेव रिफ्लेक्ट हो रही है तो जो एंगल है वो बिल्कुल ऑपोजिट हो गया है सो वी हैव टेकन प्लस पाई दिस इज व्हेन व्हेन दिस सरफेस इज रिजिड ऑन एडिंग पाई वी हार्डली गेट अ डिफरेंट वी हार्डली गेट अ डिफरेंस ड्यू टू ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक प्रॉपर्टीज दिस विल बी same as that of incident wave when it get reflected by a rigid surface we will get phi r s a sin omega t minus kx with a negative sign because there is a addition of pi so this shows that when the wave is reflected the amplitude is same frequency is same only the difference is of this negative sign that is the direction of the reflected wave is opposite to the direction of incident wave when we talk about transmitting waves or when the rigid when the surface is not rigid the surface is open here surface is open then we'll get a sin omega t minus kx plus 0 which is equals to a sin omega t minus kx so this was the concept of reflected wave and transmitted waves now we'll study about standing waves or stationary waves in standing or stationary waves we fix the two ends of the wave and the wave travels in this direction then it get reflected back and travel in opposite direction again it get reflected back from here so the wave is fixed between the two ends this is x and this is this is time so let's write mathematical expression y1 is equals to a sin omega t minus kx equation 1 and y2 is equals to a sin omega t plus kx equation 2 using superposition principle we'll say y is equals to y1 plus y2 so y is equals to a sin omega t minus kx plus a sin omega t plus kx y is equals to a is common sin omega t minus kx plus sin omega t plus kx so again we are getting a form of sin a plus sin b 
So we'll get y is equals to 2a sin kx cos omega t. So we'll get this expression where y is the sum of y1 plus y2. Now here the wave do not move either right or left. The wave is fixed between the two ends. Now, where the amplitude of wave is zero, amplitude of wave is zero that are called nodes. That means these are nodes and where amplitude is maximum these are called anti nodes that means here the amplitude is maximum here the amplitude is maximum so these are anti nodes for nodes amplitude is zero so from here let us mark this equation star we'll say 2a sin kx is equals to 0 because the amplitude is 0. This is for nodes. So sin kx is equals to 0. Therefore kx is equals to n pi and x is equals to n pi upon k. When n is equals to 0, where n go from 0, 1, 2, up to so on, n. Jab n 0 hoga, to x bhi 0 hoga. When n is equals to 0, x is 0. When n is equals to 1, x is pi by k. When n is equals to 2, x is 2 pi by k. So these are the position of the node. So first node is at when x equals to 0. Second node when x equals to pi by k. So after every pi by k, the node is repeating itself. For empty node, we said that the magnitude is maximum. So we will write sin kx is equals to 1. So kx is equals to n plus half pi, x equals to n plus half pi upon k. So also here n goes from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to so on. If we substitute the value of k where k is equals to 2 pi upon lambda, we will get x is equals to n pi k is 2 pi into lambda n lambda upon 2 where lambda is the wavelength. Again substituting here x is equals to n plus half pi k is 2 pi into lambda. So x is equals to n plus half lambda by this is the value of anti nodes when x is equals to 0 anti node will be lambda by 4 when x is equals to 1 anti node will be 3 by 2 into lambda by 2 that is 3 lambda by 4 or next will be 5 lambda by 4 so these are all in odd numbers 1 lambda by 4, 3 lambda by 4 and 5 lambda by 4. So we say it as odd harmonics. So this was the concept of nodes and antinodes.